Hi guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics, and today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, bullet connectors to the thruster cable to attach to our uh, basic ESC speed controller. Uh, you can see the three bullet connectors down here make it very convenient to attach the thruster, and we provide the, the matching pair to attach to the thruster if you'd like to use those. Um, so I've got here the uh, bullet connectors. Uh, right now I'm going to use the male version of the bullet connectors, which connect to the motor wires on the ESC. Um, I've got the actual thruster with the cable uh, with the ends already stripped here. You can check out our wire stripping tutorial if you uh, don't know how to do that yet. Uh, and then last, I've got some heat shrink uh, to cover up the connectors once they're attached. Um, in terms of tools, I have a uh, basic soldering iron. Uh, I have a reel of solder. Um, and I've also got one of these uh, three extra hands tools uh, to help hold the connectors while I'm soldering them. Uh, this is really handy. So I'm actually going to start by putting the thruster cable into the uh, holder here. And I'm going to tin the wires. Um, and by tinning, I mean I'm going to add a little bit of solder to the end of each one, which will make it easier to attach to the connector later. Uh, this stuff isn't strictly required, but it helps out a lot. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the bullet connectors and I'm going to put it into the uh, holder. And I'm going to I'm going to first fill up the back with a lot of solder before I insert the wire. So I'm going to start, apply the heat of the soldering iron, uh, feed in a lot of solder, you can fill it up all the way, uh, and then take the wire that you're going to put in there and put it in while the solder is still hot. You can remove the heat, it'll take a few seconds for the solder to cool. Uh, so just be careful and stay away from the connector until it does cool. So you can see there, that's it. We've got one connected. Um, and so uh, I'm going to finish the rest, and then we'll put heat shrink on them. All right, there you go. In this close-up, you can see the three wires attached. Um, and I'm going to put the heat shrink on by feeding it over the wire and making sure that it lines up uh, with the base of the wire there. And then I'll use, uh, in this case, a hot air gun to uh, shrink the heat shrink. Awesome. Here's the three wires with the completed heat shrink. Once you've got the three connectors installed, you're ready to use the basic ESC. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for our cable penetrators, which should actually be installed before this step, um, as well as our tutorial on just how to use the basic ESC to get the thruster running. Thanks for watching.